Oh, hello, and welcome to episode 6. So, um, let's get right to it. Now, I wanted to add something, um, with some inside discussion. I figured out that there's a glitch, apparently, in this version of Space Engine, where, um, only systems or binary systems of stars have uh, planets with life which is why every single planet with life we've found is in a binary system so far so but um the lead developer has said that he's going to release a patch here soon but it's gonna change it's gonna fix that but we're gonna lose all the planets with life that we've found so far so it's gonna suck a little bit but um I uh, think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going and hopefully that patch will come out soon at least before the season ends but yeah I'll, I'll let you guys know when it comes out so um this seems like a good spot let's start start clicking around oh here we go three planets with life three planets now I'm gonna probably just choose whichever one looks the coolest cause I'm not gonna be able to have time to do all three okay so here we have two of them two moons for this warm gas giant and the last ones over here by the orange dwarf so let's take a quick glance at them. This one looks nice, but um, let's take a look at the others. Hmm. We might do that one, unless this next one is pretty awesome. Actually, I think we'll do this one. Looks pretty cool. Move on in. Here we have some plateau-like structures. Reminds me of the last planet we were on. And then we have the icy tops of the mountains here. Although, I don't know how icy they are, this planet has a scorching temperature of about 328 Kelvin, which, that's um, 130 Fahrenheit, just about. Now, as we saw earlier, this planet is orbiting a giant gas giant, a warm gas giant, that is. And um, it's quite large in the sky, this planet, or this moon rather, with life. It's large enough to be a planet, but it um, it's fairly close in a close orbit. It finishes an orbit in 1.3 days. We have some even stranger features. It does still have the plateau look, but um... They're a lot lower, not as tall, and that's just a great view there, with the gas giant peeking up above the horizon. Now, on this side of the planet, there's not as, as much water, but only uh, scattered lakes the surface and there you can see the rivers very nice view now we're flying at about a height of 15 kilometers and because of the atmospheric pressure of this planet 
you could likely be in an orbit at this height. And uh, this could be about the right speed for the orbit. So this is what a satellite might be seeing. Now we're on the night side of the planet. And here you can see the sunset to the left with the Jovian planet in the middle of the screen. Let's go ahead and speed up the cycle here. And there you can see us aimlessly orbiting. And there's the other star that's hiding behind the gas giant. There's Andromeda to the right there. Hopefully we'll get that new patch out so we can have some single systems and hopefully get some more interesting planets with life. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoy this planet. Take care.